holiday and my record, I was signed to Universal as a solo artist, had come out and kind of shot in with a bullet at number 6042 and then promptly gone out. And, uh, and it, I was very disheartened by it all and on the verge of giving up the music. Pete had set up a webcam in the studio we have here in London and you hadn't started using it yet so I kind of took it hostage and came up with this idea about doing like a music chat show and one of the things I'd always struggled with was getting my personality across in my music which is very serene and nun-like so this seemed like a good way and what was nice is that we had a computer with my blog up so while we were doing the show people would leave comments in real time so we were getting feedback as we were doing the show and people would request songs, you know, can you play this, can you play that? And then of course there was the obvious, you know, please ask Pete to play this and ask Pete about Keith Moon or ask Pete, you know, so, so that's how it started. And what was quite strange is as soon as I started to play, I kind of got this sensation of a very, very powerful feeling of an audience. In my father's day, you know, my father was a working musician who used to do live broadcasts all the time. And as a kid, I used to go, and, you know, and the red light would come on. And that meant that people out there were listening to what you were doing. When it actually came to the moment of committing to the tour, one of the things that came up was, was trying to draw the two things together so that I could continue to do what I was doing in the music business, but also continue to be a part of this other program that I found so creatively stimulating because it was so lighthearted. But I was having loads of fun with the show and I, I really, I didn't want to just kind of go along and be the girlfriend, which I've done a few times, but it's, it's been for three week stints or four week stints and, you know, and I just thought I'll go mad. So there was this idea about trying to take the show on the road and the first thing the Who committed to were all the European festivals. So we came up with this idea, let's take the show on the road, let's get an Airstream caravan, let's put a production suite in one end, a set in the other end, we'll get a satellite so that we can broadcast live onto the net, and we'll rock up at all the, we'll, we'll sneak it in with like the Who Carney into all the festivals, and because you're doing festivals, we'll be able to grab loads of excellent guests. Worked. So in Europe, we were able to do the show from the caravan. There were a number of logistical problems, if you like, about bringing the caravan to America. One was the expense of it and the mileage. And you were too mean to pass. I was too mean. Yes. But I was keen to keep moving forward, in a sense. I didn't just want to stop and take the credit card and go to Bergdorf's in every city, and that would not do it for me. Essentially, I said, look, while we're in America, why don't we do this? Why don't we host the show in a live sense, but it would be more like a live concert? But we would only play in tiny little venues that would hold a maximum of, say, 250 people. So we would get the intimate feel that we had grown used to, and we would still be able to continue to play acoustically with up-and-coming guests, and guests that were established, and, and that's what we did. And we, we did eight shows in America. Yeah. So here's something I'll never get to say ever again in my life. I'd like to welcome Pete Townsend to the stage. to particularly thank Pete and Rachel for putting this on and for helping me out and bringing me out tonight. Thank you very much. <laughs> this is a new song of mine called What's Been Going On. i 
swallows everything from the mighty to the meager thing. Well, it's dark, but it's comfort to play along. But what's been going on? What's been going on? What's been going on around There goes her old beat up car outside of our old favorite bar. She's proudly in there playing her guitar, the stars in her. Some of my favorite memories All those carefree melodies Now here on these raging seas About to capsize Oh 
This one's a serious song. I sang it last time I was here, and I think uh, it hit a struck a chord, and I appreciate the crowd as response to it. And uh, if you want to sing along, go ahead. You're all the more better for doing it. It just means a lot to me. Anyways, I hope you enjoy it. It's called Car Wash for Peace. Yeah. I'm so sick of all the news on TV. All this fighting got me going crazy. Someone wrote on my car, please clean me. Now I know what I got to do. Listen, everybody, I'm talking to you. Let's have a car wash for peace. There's trouble in the Middle East. There'll be No, I got to 
Townsend, Rachel Fuller. Thank you. When we started to do live shows, I have to say I started to feel that we were working in a different zone. One, one story worth telling was is that one day, you know, Rachel was probably struggling with giving up smoking, which is a, a, a lifetime thing for her, or has been recently, and, and was having a bad day in a hotel room. And, and uh, and we and we were we were talking really with you know tremendous emphasis about about trying to juggle this sense of powerlessness that she had that you know she had this incredible property, but it needed funding in order to get to the next stage and all that was going on really was a hoot tour, and she was very frustrated and I said to her listen you know you're not reinventing the wheel doing little concerts you know we've been doing this for fucking years you know you what you do is you get bands and you put them on and you play and the audience come how is this special you know and uh, it's okay to do it but what's it what's the idea of it and she, and she she said what I want is I want to be able to be um, not compared to these other musicians I just want to be able to stand beside them and be seen to be a performer it worked for me in exactly the same way. Most of the time people are interested in, in you know, how I play, not what I play. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, whether I'm really behind it, whether I'm really looking, the, you know, I've got the right face on, the right attitude, or, or you know, uh, do I look suicidal, do I look angry, do I look happy? It's all got to be extremes, you know. And so what was lovely about doing these shows was I could really just be myself. 
White light, white light going messing up my mind Don't you know it makes me go blind White feet going to my toes Oh Lord have mercy, white light had it in your snows White light going messing up my brain You know it's making me insane White feet down to my toes Lord have mercy, what I had it in the snows. You know how much I love you. Sometimes I feel so happy. Sometimes I feel so sad. Sometimes I feel so happy But mostly you just make me mad Baby, just make me mad Linger on Your pale blue eyes Linger on
thought of you as everything I've had, but I just couldn't keep. I've had, but couldn't keep. Linger on your pale blue eyes. stand up down for you is up Truly, truly a sin. Big girl. 